everyone, and welcome to History Highlights at Nova Parks. I'm Tracy Gillespie, Historic Site Manager with Nova Parks, and I'm here at Aldi Mill again today. It's very quiet here. Our equipment's not running, as you know, but it will be, we hope, soon. In the meantime, what I'd like to do is tell you a little bit more about how our historic mill came to be so successful. It really lies because of the efforts of this man that I'm gonna show you a photograph up here. His name is Oliver Evans. He was born in 1755 and lived until 1819. Oliver Evans was an inventor, an engineer, and a businessman. In fact, he was probably one of the most influential um, inventors in the United States in the early years of, of our country's history. Mostly that's due to his designing and building the first fully automated system for flower manufacturing. And I'll show you this exhibit panel that we have here in historic Aldi Mill that shows you the automated system that he developed in the late 1700s. He's interesting because um, he had very little formal education. Oliver was um, apprenticed to, to a wheelwright when he was just 17 years old. Even though he didn't have much formal education, he was very bright, he was very well read also. And it's because of his efforts that we end up with a, a continuous process of the manufacturing of many different kinds of products, in this case, flour um, and, and other types of grain. Um, and it's critical to the Industrial Revolution and to mass production. And how did this happen? Well, it's because of a series of belts and pulleys and elevators and things like that. You can see here in the mill, here's an example of what is called an Archimedes screw. This is something that would have been used to move grain horizontally. And I'll take you over to another section of the mill where you can see the elevator. So this is going to be moving our grain vertically. And you'll see a bit of the elevator here. It's a canvas belt. And you'll also see the tin buckets that's even got a little bit of cornmeal in it. So Oliver Evans, um, he turned his attention um, to flour milling the actual process of flour milling in the 1780s. And it's at that time he's living um, still in Delaware where he'd been born. Delaware was becoming highly industrialized. And what he was interested in is finding ways that it can be a completely automated system because it just took so much manpower for it. So what he ended up doing was developing that vertical system that elevator, first use of the word elevator, is in the milling system here. So you have the vertical movement of grain. And they also came up with an invention called a hopper boy. And here is a display panel of a hopper boy. We no longer have one now in Aldi Mill, but we have this wonderful diagram that's on the second floor of the mill, which is where the hopper boy would have been originally. That was used to spread out meal to dry it, uh, sort of like a rake um, to dry it. So with these two inventions, really that contributed to a fully automated, a fully integrated system. It's truly, truly revolutionary for its time. And by the time he is combining the other ideas that he'd had, belts and pulleys um, used to help operate all of the equipment he could actually have a mill operating with really no manual power at all. Believe it or not though, investors didn't think that he had a good idea. And one, in fact, one flour merchant said, ah, Oliver, you cannot make water run uphill. You cannot make wooden millers. So it took him many years to, to sell his idea, but ultimately he did. And in fact, um, his invention of that automated system would be uh, just the third invention. Uh, it would, would get a US patent, the third US patent ever to be granted. In fact, it was Secretary of State Thomas Jefferson who approved that patent, with, uh, which I imagine uh, Jefferson would have thought it was a truly 
marvelous invention. Even George Washington was impressed upon seeing Evans' technology at work and had the automated system installed in his own mill. And here at Aldi Mill, our Charles Fenton Mercer, the owner of the mill, was smart enough, wise enough to say, absolutely, let's purchase the rights to use this automated, automated system of the belts, the pulleys, the elevator system, the hopper boy. Let's get this operation going with as little manpower as we would need. And voila, we have an operating mill. Thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this history minute here. And if you want to learn more, please visit novaparks.org.